Good evening, everyone. Happy new release day. We got another one of these coming at you. 2019 Bowman Baseball Jumbo Edition. Eight box. Pick your team number two from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to all of these folks right here for getting into Pick Your Team 2. Jeff Truesdale, Indians, Last Spot Mojo, and there's everybody else. Thanks for getting in. Oh, you really want the stickers, huh, Ryan? Listen, the more you push us to get stickers, the longer it'll probably take. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next one. It's like maybe, maybe stickers are overhyped now. Maybe they're played out. I don't think we've ever had a Jaspie sticker, right? Thanks, see ya. Just go play craps. I wish I had craps and go down the beach. I just bet on the do not pass line. That's my point. Oh, man. You're one of those? I love playing the do You not play pass the do not pass line? Oh, off. man. Uh, by the way, that's for uh, Pick Your Team 2 and all the other Bowman breaks right here. Above my head are Nick's hands right there. He's going to be helping uh, us pack stacks so this break goes a little bit faster. All right. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> Darren was hoping for more status basketball. There is more posted. But, oh. Bell time already? That means this certain. Oh, box. that means that box is ready. Darren, if you want more status basketball, we can do it. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. But that certainly would cut into our Bowman baseball time. No, I'm just joking. I don't pet on the Yeah, Jeff, Jeff's getting mad at you too. <laughs> it just makes people mad. So like, it does piss people it. off. Everyone's. I was uh when I was in Vegas last time, there was like some guy rolling with a do not pass, and I was just like. <laughs> Why do you? Why are you rooting against people? Jeff will not be playing craps with you at Jaspi Fest. Yeah. We're doing Jaspi Fest next year. NFL draft. NFL draft. Jaspi Fest. Sponsored by Monster Energy. Sponsored by Monster Energy. Hopefully, we'll get a nice Monster Energy hit Monster here. Energy girls Mo Monster Energy Monster Hit. Get the Monster Energy Girls come out? Yeah. All right. And the Panini Girls. I'll bet the Monster Girls are better than the Panini Girls. Wow, it's Shade Girl. Like, right, because they're a bigger company? I think so, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe nicer. I bet the Panini Girls are friendlier. You think the Panini Girls are friendlier? Yeah. Yeah, I'll bet the Monster bet they, Girls, yeah. I bet they buy in the breaks. Oh, they do. I'm sure they do. From the Hall. All right, box number one. Good luck, everybody. Oh, Chris Munro, you are in the wrong place. If you uh, look at your eBay description, you'll have uh, you'll see the time of that break, and you'll see. It's just YouTube.com backslash Jaspi. Oh, eBay. you helped him out. That's, that's all you have to do. Oh, Tip. you have to teach a man to fish, Nick. There's Blaze Alexander, five out of fifty. Gold Shimmer. Diamondbacks on the board. That's Jonathan Martin. Man, this thing doesn't, it doesn't want to focus. There we go. Doesn't like the Bowman. Doesn't like, yeah, it doesn't, like, doesn't want to focus on the Bowman here. I think I got it. I think my hand was so I was trying to focus on my, the foreground right here not on the cards. If I do it like that, there's Blaze Alexander again, gold shimmer. No auto. You ever film, bro? Do you even film, bro? Do I, do I even film, bro? We got you can see the Austin Beck to 150. Yeah, it is. 
do you like that? And you can zoom in and stuff on a card. I do like that too. Yeah. People are like, hey, how do those edges look? How do the corners? Like, I'll show you right now. Yeah. The Monster Energy Super Super Zoom. And we've got Edward Cabrera. Nice. I like that speckle pattern they have this year. 87 out of 299, it looks like, for the Miami Marlins. Jeremy Tillman with the Marlins. Nice one for the fish. There will be a recap video in a separate video, so if you're watching the replay, you don't want to sit through all this. You can look for that on our channel. Breathe through that paper. I like these uh, Bowman Sterling cards. They popped in here. They're bringing Sterling back, ladies and gentlemen, for those Sterling fans. We learned that at the Topps Industry Conference in Arizona a month or so ago. They're bringing Sterling back for Sterling fans. I'm sure we'll get plenty of those. I don't know when it comes out. Do you do you remember when it comes out? Later later this year. August maybe. August. And we've got Jose Suarez. Well, I think he's a pretty big prospect for the Angels, yeah? Yeah. Jason Reardon with that one. He's looking for an Otani, but we'll start off with this guy. Like when they don't have Twitter, they have to put the at Bowman cards. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. Brian O looking for a Corey Ray Super Fractor. There's Corey Ray right there. Looking for his Super. He pulled the Super Fractor of Gavin Lux auto. Did I pull Gavin Lux auto? Didn't you pull the I did. The I do remember that. Brewer, right? No, no, no. He was always a Dodger. Who was a Brewer? You pulled a Brewer Super Fractor auto. Out of Bowman Baseball? Bowman Draft, yeah. John Oakray or Rory Preston. would remember. I think he hit it for one of them. Yeah. Oh, 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 um, for Rory. Yeah. You're right, I did. It wasn't Gavin Lux. No, it wasn't Maybe. Gavin Lux. And it wasn't Keston Hiruda, it was the other guy. <laughs> yeah, it was a In that guy. set. Yeah. I forget. It was, the other, it was the other somewhat less valuable brewer, but still... It was still a super. He might still have it. Rory! Sometimes Rory has us on in his shop. Oh. He says he just leaves it on. Rory! Get to the What's computer. That? Now it's bugging me. Oh, Brian O's a Brewers fan. He might remember. Brian O, who was, uh, who were the Brewers autographs in 2018 Bowman Draft? It was either 2018 or 2017. Bowman Draft. Who were the, who were the Brewers hits there? It might have been 2017. It was the Keston Hero of the year, though. Yeah, I think it was 2017. Oh, was it 2017? Corey, no. No, it wasn't Corey Ray. There's Sean Reed Foley. Was it Bryce Turing? No. No, see, Turing was Redemptions. And a 499, Ryan Weathers, Sean, Sean Reed Foley. It wasn't Orlando Arcia, either. It wasn't Arcia. It'll come to me. If I see the name, I'll be like, yep, that's yeah, the guy. Yeah. It wasn't like a super big prospect, but... But he was in a lot of those early sets. But yeah, so you pulled some Super Fractor autos. Yeah, but you pulled like Chris Bryan and like Carlos <laughs> Rodon. You yeah. pulled like some pretty big ones. Hello, yeah, yeah. Rodon isn't as big anymore. But Bryan's still pretty big. Still starting? Yeah. Carlos Rodon. I forget, Brian. It was either 17 or 18. I think it was pretty sure it was 17. Because we did a lot of those random teams. It wasn't Brandon Woodruff. We're going to slide some more over right here. I think you can, everyone can see him on that secondary camera right there, too. You'll be able to see 
all the stacks. There's Anthony Rizzo, tapered to $4.99. That's for the Cubs, EA with the Cubbies. And there's uh, Jordan Adams at a one twenty five for Jason Reardon and the Angels. Punisher Prime, what's going on, Vince? Brett Phillips? It wasn't either of those guys. No, it definitely I'll, wasn't Corbin Burns. I'll Brett Phillips sounds familiar. I don't, I don't think it was him. There's D.L. Hall at 250. It'd be a lot easier if Rory was in here. Yeah, Rory! Rory! What's the super fractor I got you? It was Brinson? No. There's uh, Ryan McKenna out of 4.99 for the O's. That's going to go to Kai Hei Chang. Just name the entire Brewers farm system. Yeah, just name the entire Brewers farm system. We'll eventually get it. That's for the O's for Kai Heng. It wasn't Lewis Brinson. It was like a it was like a second tier. Like Brewers prospect. It wasn't as big as Keston Hira or or Lewis Brinson. Wait, are you looking it up? Yeah. It's bugging. <laughs> it's really bugging me. You also had a Russell Martin super factor. That I don't remember. Phillip Rivers. I do remember that. I had this one who's starting now, Roddy Talese. Oh Tellez. yeah, for the uh Tellez, for the yeah. Blue Jays. I also had Trey Mason. Legend. <laughs> Legend Trey Mason. I also, or you hit Kelvin Benjamin. Who, oh, that's right. Who uh, Booger McFarlane said he's one Popeye's biscuit away from being a tight end. Wow. <laughs> he, said that, he said it on the ESPN Monday Night Football broadcast. On the, on, wow, I didn't realize that. He's one Popeye's biscuit away from becoming a tight end. He said that, yeah. Jeez, that's harsh. <laughs> Salvador Perez, and he said it just 250. Like, yeah, I just said it. He was like so nonchalantly. Oh, it Brian's big boys 007 got oh, it. It was I Tristan knew it was Lutz. Lutz. I knew it was Tristan I Lutz. I said Gavin Lux. I knew it was a L. I knew it was that. Yeah, it was Lutz. Nice, Dave. You win. Big boys 007 gets it. I knew it. Yeah, you were kind of close on that last name. Kind of close, yeah. I knew right when I saw the name, but I didn't know who it was. Yep. It's Peter Alonzo and Chris Shaw out of 499. Refractor autograph for Kyle and the Giants. Oppo Joe Mojo. Ryan L saying Celtics won. Wow, they were down for a little bit. They came back. Is this the second game that they came back? Came back game one, too, didn't they? <laughs> oh, Brian, you were running out of names. Out of 499, Ethan Hankins. Tristan Lutz or Will Lutz? I think it was Tristan, I think it was Tristan Lutz, yeah. I don't know. I don't know where where Tristan Lutz is now. Actually, not over yet. Could be over. It's a two possession game with eight point eight seconds left. So not game over. Fake news. Ryan L. Game's not over. It ain't over till it's over. Ninety seven ninety one. Celtics leading the Pacers by six. We don't have TV today. Celtics win probability is 97.6%, though. And how do we do that? How do people 
I we went without power here for like an hour. I was like in the house, <laughs> and it was like midnight. I kind of felt bad for relying so much on power. Like there's Kessin Huda, and there's uh, O'Neill Cruz, 124 out of 150. He's got like two last names as a last name as a first name. <clears throat> like Victor Victor Mason. Victor Victor. I like Rocket Sixers as as the final. Rocket Sixers, I that'd be a fun final to watch. And there's Eli Morgan. I think Sixers will figure it out. Eli Morgan. Unless Jimmy Butler kills him. And that's for the Cleveland Indians. That goes to the Tribe. That'll be for Jeff Truesdale. Jeff, last spot mojo strikes again. And we've got Ryan McKenna at a 250. Orioles, Kai Hang with that one. Oh, now I think it's over. Seven, seven points ahead, Celtics seven points ahead. No, eight points ahead, end of the fourth, now it's over. Celtics win 99 to 91. They were down by a lot of points at one point. So they, I think they had to come back again in game two. Yeah, it is too bad Oladipo got injured. I, I, I would think that, I mean, the Asians might be up 2 0. There's Ramon Laureano in the series if it wasn't for, uh, for Joe Adele to 499. If it wasn't for Oladipo's injury. The so final is 99. To 91. Brian O, we are always down for trivia, especially to help pass the time during these long breaks. stack right here. And we got a Ry Ryland? Ryland Bannon. And that is 009 out of 299. Rylan. Or you think it's Dylan with an R. Is it Rylan? No, I appreciate you asking, Brian. But yeah, I'm down. I think it's a today is especially is a good is a good day for that. Yankees scored four in the bottom of the seventh to take a five to three lead against the Red Sox. Got a little financial interest in the Yankees. Uh, Indians beat the Mariners 1-0. Speaking of the Indians, there's Connor Capel. Oh, what kind of a boring game. Or maybe a maybe a, a, a pitching duel. Jake, oh. Jake Bowers, home run. 
Oh, Jake Bauer hit a home run. We pulled Jake Bauer autograph not too long ago. Hey, I have him on my fantasy team. And Car and Carlos Carrasco. Is he starting? He started. He's the winning pitcher. He's the pitcher of record. He only gave up three hits. What's your guy's record? Um, it's Roto. We're like in the middle of the pack. But uh, that kind of helps a lot, actually. Yeah, Carlos Carrasco and seven strong, 12 strikeouts. Because of waiver? What's that? Because of waiver? Why does it help? Oh, no, I mean just for for uh, Roto points. Oh. Or Carlos Carrasco has been like one good start and one bad start. Good start. And Jake Bowers is on our fantasy team too. So There's Nico Herner at a 299 for EA. Non-auto, but in that cool speckle pattern. Where do we have our custom tabletop made? Oh, these are... These are like, it's a rubber pad right here. So in case I have Amari Cooper hands, it helps. I don't know, where where do we get this made? Uh, Somewhere. Free ad, Ink Gaming. There's a free ad advertisement. Oh, it's a free advert. We don't want to give that person no, that Ink company. No, Ink Gaming. Oh, Ink Gaming. Ink Gaming, free advertising. Pay us, Ink Gaming. If you just Google that. What do gamers use it for? Uh, like Magic the Gathering and stuff. Oh, like oh, oh, for that sort of stuff. Okay. We should, we should just get, like, that green felt they put on poker tables. Yeah, that'd be cool. Get that instead. I like to make it, like, rubber cards and then a rubber finish on top of it. Ooh. Yeah, I like to break on, like, a... There's, like, 60 people watching. We just gave Ink Gaming some... I know. Free advertising. Free advertising. Yeah, a lot of people ask. Out of 125, there's a uh, Brewer Hicklin, plays for the Royals. Should break in the beach one day. Yeah, yeah. Pun Punisher Prime Ink Gaming. That's the site. I think it's inkgaming.com or. If you just search Ink Gaming, Matt's, yeah. it'll come up. I mean, we're already giving them free publicity. We're not going to drop the link in the chat. P have people go away from our live stream. There's Jared Kalanick, Mariner's Edition. There's Amaris a Aidman to 75. Cody Bellin got hit right there. But I think in the soft spot, just behind the kneecap, he's okay. And a printing plate. Non-auto printing plate. That's Jonathan India for the Reds. That goes to Big Boys 007. No ink, but still a plate and still a train whistle. He's a top prospector. Big Boys 007, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. I think so. The uh, third baseman, I think. Cincinnati Reds. According to Baseball America, he is their fourth prospect. Oh, that's that's Tony's. There he is. Right there. And they're gonna have a stacked infield. Because, like, Nick Senzel can play second. Jonathan India can play third. Yeah, but Votto will be done by then. Someone's going to have to play first, yeah. And that's the, that's the future right there. Hi, J-Mac. This is Jumbo 2. And then Hobby 2 right after this. And that should bring us around... 8.30ish, 8.45ish LA time. And we should be able to squeeze in two more Bowman breaks. If, I mean, if they sell out by then, we should be able to squeeze in two more Bowman breaks tonight before we have to call it. But hey, we'll be back tomorrow. We'll do it all over again. 74 out of 100. Nice atomic refractor autograph. Brock Death Rage? Death I'm sure it's Death Rage, but... I want to say Death Rage. That so, might be the coolest last name that I've ever seen. Jason was saying that earlier. That was Whoa. 
for the Tigers. That goes to Mark Lands. You had Death Rage on the back of your jersey? That sounds like a like that sounds like a, a musical genre. Hey, what do you listen to? Death Rage. What's his middle name? I don't know what his middle name is, but man. Wow, recognized on the MLB.com all name team for the 2018 MLB draft. They had one of those for the draft. Death Rage. Rawr, death Rage. Rawr. Death Rage. He just made his walk up song. That's his walk up song right there. Do you hear Elvis Andrews' walk up song? No. Baby Shark. Oh, man. <laughs> Everyone must hate him. <laughs> he said he plays it for his son. Wow, well, that's this. cute, I guess, but. Uh, John Tamson and Joseph, a good time to plug the hair product I used if they came up with their sponsorship money. That's right, Dove. Pay me. So, this this is definitely a Monster Energy monster hit right here. Monster, pay us. See, we can we can slip that in there. It'll be perfect. Wow, what a what a, what a Monster Energy monster hit. All right, we've got Brewer, Hicklin for the Royals to 125. I wish Death Rage was a uh, was a Dodger. That'd be awesome. I'd definitely get a Death Rage jersey. I'm not really a Jersey guy, but really can Death Rage. Is he gonna be a somebody? Is he gonna be a player? <laughs> uh, a tenth round draft pick, maybe. And Diego Cartaya, Chrome Prospect Autograph. We learned that he was a Dodger in the last break. So that's a little Dodger Joe Mojo for John Anderson. I think number 10 or 11 prospect. Uh, according to Baseball America, organizational prospect. Top 10 organizationally. According to Baseball America. That's not his full name, is it, John Tanks? <laughs> I just noticed that. Andrew Brockington Deathridge. I wish it was. Yeah, I, I want to try to orchestrate a trade. Right. If 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 he if he ended up on the drillers, I'd be like, TJ, you gotta you gotta get me a Death Rage jersey. He's felt different. Oh man, that's no, in, no, in everyone's head. It is? Are you serious? It's Andrew Brockington Death Rage? I, I wish he was like a. I wish he was like a. You wish he was like a Roman numeral. If he was like the fourth. And so there's like three other Andrew Brockington Death Rages out there. Uh, for the Cubbies, EA with a Keegan Thompson autograph. Refractor all, 386 out of 499. Nice Keegan Thompson. TJ would love to have him as a driller, he says. I would too. Let's see this little stack right over here. Paper. 
Oh, okay, thanks, John. I'll take a look at <laughs> Andrew Brockington. 247 out of 250. Uh, Ronaldo Hernandez for the Rays, purple paper. There's Otani Bowman Sterling. Do I think the Cardinals are letting Trevor Rosenthal go? I don't think they have Trevor Rosenthal anymore. 21 out of 50. It's Michael Kopech. I think he means Josh Rosen of the Oh, Josh Rosen of the Sorry. Baseball. Baseball's in my head right now. Um, I don't, I mean, they shouldn't. Kyle Murray's minus 2,000 to be the number one. Are you, he's minus 2,000 to be he's the number guaranteed. one? guaranteed. Oh, man, yeah. He so, sounds... I mean, it doesn't mean the Cardinals are going to pick him. Oh, you think someone trades up? But it's minus 2,000 he's going number one no matter what. So. Right. I guess It'd it's... be a very big upset. Sounds like it. What, you had to bet $100 to win two? $2, yeah, something like that. There's Michael Chavez out of 250, purple chrome. I could definitely see the Ravers coming on. Oh, why would they do that? I think it'll be better in car, but yeah. I, don't, I mean, they've got, they've got, yeah, it's not a total yeah. need. I mean, next year there's going to be another hot quarterback. Then what then? You know, no, I think year, the Cardinals will take him. Year after that, another hot quarterback. And I think Rose will go to New York or Washington. So, like, what? The Giants trade their. Their first. Round pick. Yeah. Maybe next year or something. Blaze Alexander. That goes to Jonathan Martin. Oh, wow. They released a video. Cardinals released a video of the team without him in it. Yeah, that's not a good sign. Um, Jason Cox, we do not do eBay on this channel, I'm afraid. If you look at your item description, you'll see the time and the channel. It's in the studio behind me. Jason does the eBay stuff. Uh, Brian O has a trivia for us. Okay, this might be a little tougher. Let's give it a try. I'll give some his uh, Name the last 10 NL Rookie of the Years. Bonus points if you can pick the year that he won. The last 10? That's impossible. That's not, that's not impossible. We can do it. Um, <laughs> yeah, see. Um, let's start with last year. Who won Ronald last Acuna. year? Ronald Acuna Jr. won last year at a 250. I think. He did in 2018. So who won in 2017? NL Rookie of the Year. Cody Bellinger. Hmm? Yes. Cody Bellinger won in 2017. 2016, Corey Seager. That's a tough one. No, I don't think so. Maybe. I think Corey Seager won in 2016. 10 15, definitely Bryant. Yeah, Chris Bryant, 2015. No Google, folks. Where did I know the monster monster? DMAC, uh, yes, we finally figured that. <laughs> we finally figured it out. It was Tristan Lutz. Thank you, sir. Once Big Boys 007 mentioned it, we we're like, yep, there it is. 2014. 13 is Puig, right? No, Yasiel did not win what? Rookie of the Year. Yeah, he did. He had to, right? No, he started like in the middle of the season. Right, so there you go. Bellinger and Seager, because I know the Dodgers won two in a row. 15 okay, was Chris so Bryant. 2014. So 2014. 2014. Jose Braves AL, I think. Two thousand fourteen. Trying to think who's on the boxes of every two thousand fourteen product. Oscar Tavares, he didn't win. Chris Coglin won a Chris Coglin, really? For the Cubs or the Marlins? I think Marlins, right? Out of one thirty, Brian Mata. Did Junior Lake win? No, I don't think he was an NL. 10-14. NL Rookie of the Year 2014. AL was a Brayo, I think. 
Who's 2014? Oh, that's gonna. Gregory Polanco? No. Uh... There's Mateo Gill for the Cardinals. That's gonna go to Keith. I have no idea on the 2014. Jeff says Marlins edition for Coughlin. I totally forgot he was a, a person. <laughs> totally forgot that he was a person? Yeah. Bo Burrows was out of four ninety nine. Yeah, Harper had to have won, right? Rookie of the year. Strasburg two thousand ten. Strasburg had to have won. Strasburg twenty ten. Yeah, Harper 2012. Bryant says three pitchers and two position players. Oh, Posey. Two, nice, TJ. 2014 had to be DeGrom, right? That's a good one. No on Strasburg. Buster Posey, D. Porter saying, Darren saying? Posey was before that. I think Posey was before 2010, I think. Oh, Posey was 2010. Oh, exactly. Exactly 2010. I guess Strasburg did. Jose Fernandez, We've got Andrew uh, Bechtold to 499. 106 out of 499 for the Twins. Thomas Bove with the Minnesota Twins. There you go, Thomas. So, what years are we missing, Brian? Just a couple, right? 2011 and 2011. So Jose Fernandez was 2013. So 2011. And I'm terrible with years. There's another Keegan Thompson for EA and the Cubbies. Freddie Freeman? Maybe? Nick Jaspi saying Freddie Freeman 2011. I don't know if he had a good rookie year. Goldschmidt? I think Goldschmidt won one. I think it's a pitcher. Is 2011 a pitcher, Brian? Yeah, we got to get a hint. There's Austin Beck to 499. Still active. 2011. It's not Kershaw. Kershaw was like 2009 or something like that, right? Eight. Zach Greinke? No. No, Zach Greinke's before AM. 2010, too, yeah. He was Royals anyway. I think started with the Royals, yeah. Um. And a World Series winner? Whoa. Chris Sale. Chris Sale. No, he's AL. He's AL. Shoot. Uh, uh, I have no clue. Well, who, who won the World Series? Well, no, since 2011. It could be eight years. Yeah. Well, how many NL teams have won the World Series? Maybe it could be a different team. Oh. We all know him. Jet. Jeff? No, he's saying to. He's oh, oh, oh! He Jeff. says we we all know him, Jeff. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, Cubs won a World Series. 
John Lester, no. It can't be any Jake Arrieta, no. Uh, who, are, who are Jeff pitchers? <clears throat> or no, I'm sorry. Who are who are? And yeah, NL. And, and, sorry, NL. Who are NL World, World Series, Series winners. Cubs. I don't think it's anybody in the Cubs. Giants. Giants, maybe Bum. Jeff Samarja. Bumgarner, no. no, right? Samarja started with the Cubs. He started with the Cubs. But I guess that's NL. Too. Was he on? Was he on a? Was he on any of those World Series teams? Was Bumgarner the... before 2011? Was it Bumgarner? I think he was before 2011. There's Steel Walker. So he's not in the same team, maybe. Craig it was Kimbrell. Craig Kimbrell? Ooh. And he's not even on the team. With the uh, Padres, right? Or the Braves? Steel, there's Steel Walker for the White Sox. David Duffy with that one. The Braves, I think. And then he got traded to the Padres a few years later. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's crazy, a reliever one. That must have been a, like... A low. Yeah, that must have been a, kind of a soft year. Yeah. Uh, Connor Capel. Same with the Chris Coughlin. 392 out of 499. That's for the tribe. That goes to Jeff. Jeff Truesdale with that. Two autos for the last bot mojo team. So what else? Who else? Who are the other candidates in uh, 2011? Hobby box, pick your team three. I don't know. I don't think that's even sold out yet, Scott. That's why it's not on the schedule. That's why there's question marks there. No, hobby three still has two teams left, so that's not on the schedule yet. There's Jazz Chisholm to 125. Um, no, I appreciate that, Scott. Yeah, I mean, uh, three's not sold out yet. We we have, after we do this break and then the next one you see in the schedule, we will have time for maybe, probably two more Bowman breaks if they, if they sell out quickly enough. There's Gabriel Kinsell, 69 out of 250. Yeah, if you get into Hobby 3, I'd appreciate that. That'll that'll help get it to down to a single-digit team, down to one team. And then we can add that to the schedule. And then maybe see if, see if we can squeeze in one more. And that might bring us to the end of the night. It probably will, actually. All right, almost there, folks. Just got these and those two stacks right there. Jumbo, pick your team two. Hobby, pick your team two. Coming up right after this, we'll do a quick uh, video recap, auto recap on this one too, if you are just joining us. There's Ryland Bannon to 499. All right, AL, last 10 AL Rookie of the Years. Who won last year? Tommy. Otani won last year. Who won before that? Judge? Yeah, Judge. Judge before that. That was 2017. 2016 was a Tiger pitcher. Really? Yeah, I think like... What? What? <laughs> yeah, it was like a really weird year. Some Tigers pitcher won it. Like Matt Manning or something like Michael that. Michael Fulmer? Or Michael Fulmer won in 2017. Really? 2015 was Correa. No, 2016 was... was uh, Michael Fulmer. Okay. 2015 must have been Correa. Carlos Correa. 2014 was Lindor. No. 20, no. That was, Lindor was earlier than that, I think. Maybe. Correa and Lindor are pretty close, I think. Correa knows 15. Wow, Neftali Feliz. Jeff Truzzi is saying Neftali for Feliz from the Rangers was a Rookie of the Year between 2009 or 12 or something like that. There you go. So, yeah, 2016, Michael Fulmer. Okay, got that. 2015. I think it's Correa. 
Let's see what Brian O says. I think you're right. There's Griffin Canning. Correa. To uh, 250 purple chrome. It was Correa in 2015. 2014. Lindor. Jose Abreu. Jose Abreu. Feliz was right on the nose. 2010. I think Abreu was 2014. Hellickson? Jeremy Hellickson. Jeremy Hellickson. I think he made a start today. Not Longoria, right? That's the way before 2010, right? Uh, I think it could be 2011, maybe. Oh, nice. 15 out of 30. We got one of these 30th anniversary ones autographed by Nick Madrigal. That is strong. That's one of, the, one of their top prospects for the White Sox. John Samuelson was saying he likes these uh, 30th anniversary cards. That goes to David Duffy and the Chicago White Sox. Nice. No Brave. No, no, you got it. Jose Abreu, 2014, oh. says Brian. So 2013. Mark's thinking, Mark Madison's Hellickson, thinking Hellickson. Hellickson, 2011. Wait, who did Hellickson play for? Rays, I think. Oh, Hellickson, 2011. Rays. I think he was a Ray. Oh, that's right. So, so what are we missing? Thir 12 and 13? I don't think Trout won. Um, what are you talking about? Trout didn't win? I th well, he got caught. I don't know. Oh, I think he got called up weird, yeah. yeah. You're right, you're right. I think he, like... He was calling him 2011, but then... So maybe 2012. There's Bo Burrows, 299 for the Tigers. So 2009, 2012, 2013 left. Tyler in the house as well. What's up, Tyler? 2012, Mike Trout. Okay, there we go. Okay, so, he so he did. That whole rookie status throws me off. Right. Um, I think for pitchers it's like 70 innings, and for like players it's like X amount of plate appearances or something weird like that. It's like the Ben Simmons thing. He was considered a rookie. Corbin Burns to 150. But in the NBA, if you play one single game, your rookie eligibility disappears. Yeah, so Julius, remember when Julius Randle broke his leg game yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. The first quarter. He was, so it was like. I remember we're sitting and we're telling Alex, oh yeah, they're going to make the playoffs. and then Rookie of the year. And then, yeah, it was that times. Um. So 2013. 2009 left. 2009, I have no idea. 2013, the key rookies are Puig, Arenado. Those are all NL. Corey Kluber. Kluber? One pitcher, one position player. Garrett Cole's NL Pirates back then. Those are only rookies I know in 2013. Oh, Will Myers, maybe? Will Myers with the Rays, that's an interesting one. Josh Proust is saying. Andrew Miller. Victor Victor Mesa. Will Myers, 2013. Ooh. Scott Mulholland, Victor Victor Mesa. And Victor Mesa Jr. And his brother, Victor Mesa Jr. Josh got it, Will Myers, 2013. So nice. 2009. So 2009. There's Lion Richardson to 150. That's tough. For the Reds, that's Big Boys 007. I think we're going to need some hints we for 2009. 2009. Lion Richardson for the Reds. All right, and the last stack right here. Eugenio Suarez leading things off. Another Lion Richardson for the Red Legs. That's another one for Dave. Let's hope this guy becomes a Hall of Famer. There's Ryan O'Hearn. Well, it wasn't an angel. Wasn't it was a ranger, Josh Hamilton? Maybe. Wasn't a Mariner. I don't think a Mariner's won an, won a rookie of the year in a long time. So it has to be Rangers or Astros. 
Were Astros in even at, in the AOS back then? Not in 2009, I don't think. So, so it's just Rangers, Angels. Athletics. Or in A's. Oh, Josh did, Donaldson. Did Donaldson? Yeah, Josh Donaldson was an A, 2009. Josh Donaldson. Come on, show that. me Josh Donaldson. <laughs> Survey says. Oh man, I can't believe they let go of Donaldson. <laughs> they let go of, like it's like the Padres. They've let go of so many like they don't future. Me. There's Peter Alonzo to four ninety nine paper. Right. Yeah, they weren't they weren't AL. <sighs> oh, it's a pitcher. Come on. It's, uh is it the Japanese pitcher for Seattle? Um, there's Ryan McKenna. <laughs> yeah. So Josh Donaldson. <laughs> Show me Josh Donaldson. <laughs> Steve Harvey's like shaking his head. Yeah, Steve Harvey's like, come on. There's Ryan McKenna. Another O for Kai Hang. Nice. It's a pitcher in 2009 in the AL West won a GD AL Roy. It wasn't you Darvish, was it? No, Twenty two. Yeah, I was gonna say 2009 is too old. I think it's a Japanese pitcher. What about Felix Hernandez? Darren saying King Felix. I feel like he was before that. I know. I feel like he was a little bit older, too. Show me Felix Hernandez. Mike Miner, Rangers. Now, see, Jeff's saying he... Jeff's ruling out Texas. Oh, <laughs> You ever see the uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia episode? <laughs> that did the, f the Family Feud one, Family Fight? Yeah, where Dennis like, can't handle the sound one. of the air. <laughs> yeah. Frank is just <laughs> that's, crazy. That's, that's, <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. And Dee just wants to be recognized as yeah. like a star. We gotta get it before the end of this break, folks. Yeah, I have to look it up. Ah, uh, someone's watching this entire video, the replay of it. They're like, "Who was it?" Dallas Braden. Ooh, Dallas Braden. Show me Dallas Braden. He threw a perfect game. All right, there's uh, Jose De La Cruz to 150. Oh, he's not active anymore. What's up, Seth? Uh, we're tro <laughs> we're doing it. Brian O is doing a little trivia for us, and uh, last ten AL rookies of the year. We're just we're stuck on 2009. There's Yohan Mankata to four ninety nine paper. These are facsimile autographs, by the way, folks. That's why we're breezing by those. In case you were wondering, hey, is that an auto? It's not. All right, that's it, folks. That was uh, pick your team number two, 2019 Bowman Baseball. Thanks very much, everyone. We're going to do a recap video in a separate video right after this. Thanks, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye.